parents as you get your little ones to get on the school bus. You should know there is a renewed push to make it a state law that all of the new school buses purchased by your local school district do have three-point seatbelts. Hasn't always been the case. There's been legislation for seatbelts to be required in buses for years, but this wouldn't require the current ones to be retrofitted. Something in the past that drew a, a whole lot of concern and controversy because of the cost it would take a school district to complete this. Instead, this bill proposed by a senator named Sylvia Garcia out of Houston wants all the new buses bought by school districts to have those three-point seatbelts. The senator says studies show they can keep your kids safe. Senator Garcia believes not having seatbelts or on buses does send the wrong message not only to parents but to the students. We try to emphasize to always wear your seatbelt, but then as we get to school, and we're unlearning them, we're unteaching them. We tell them, oh, no, you don't have to worry. That doesn't make sense. It's mixed signals. Here's what's going to happen next. The public hearing on this bill is this morning, starting at 8 o'clock. We, of course, will let you know what happens, but let's go in depth here because we know it's important to you. The school bus seatbelt program was created from the tragedy that we saw out in Beaumont in 2006 with a bus carrying a girls' soccer team, slid off a rainy highway, rolled over, injuring dozens and killing two students. That bus had no seatbelts. Parents of those girls worked with lawmakers, and they came up with Ashley and Alicia's law, which is requiring lap shoulder belts on all new buses. But, you know, our investigative team followed up from that law, and we found out that it failed. And we also found out that it impacted parents and survivors. I remember um, the first time that Brad and I got together, and I said, you know, um, I don't know uh, how to really sit here and talk to you because you lost your daughter, my daughter survived, and he said, let's just do what we've got to do. Let's just get together and, and try to make a difference. I you know, didn't have a seat belt on, so I didn't stay in my seat. I was pulled out of the window and pinned under the bus. It took them over an hour to rescue me and my friend Devin from from being pinned there. And then I was in the hospital for about a month's time um, rebuilding my arm and I'm still permanently injured from that. Families have been helping with the current legislation, hoping that this time it passes on a more widespread level. And they hope that money is available for it because the original legislation also required school districts to report bus injuries to the state. Our investig investigative team once again found that, that was not always happening here in Central Texas. So what we did is compiled a database so you can check your child's school district at kxan.com. And then the real question you have, we will answer, does your kid's school bus have a seat belt?